Hey everyone, yeah, I've got about 18 minutes left before I have to go back to work. Hopefully things will be calmed down and everybody will be less stressed, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, but anyway, I was going to try to do this earlier this morning before I left, but I figured I might as well come back and redo it. This Saturday, and you see the title below, this Saturday, 9-19-2015, will mark the 10-year anniversary of me being a DeviantArt member. Now, I am not a... Now, throughout the entire time, I have never been a core member, which is a, recent, a recently revamped version of... Uh, a rebooted version of prim, uh, premium membership. I've never been one of those kind of members. I've just been a freelanced kind of DeviantArt member since 2005. And it's hard to believe that I've been part of this site for 10 years, for a whole decade, since 2005. And there are various ways I, the, the various ways I got introduced to this. Various ways. Because I think one of the ways I got introduced to it was I was looking for some Sonic fan fiction or fan, fan art. or something like that. And someone had provided it, but they also provided the link to where to find it and find other pictures like it. So I clicked on it and it led me to DeviantArt. And out of curiosity, I also typed in, I think, I can't really remember, but I know I typed in other things like Melting, whatever, Sonic, Disney, you name it, and a lot of stuff came up. Now I think the other way, another way I also discovered it as well was through the Yahoo groups. Now the Yahoo groups are a variety of groups that I became members of. One of them was the Melting Women groups. So I, so I went, so by joining that group, or those two various groups, I looked, I looked at it, and I was like, wow. You know, some of this artwork's pretty good because they would, you know, some people would do artwork of the women melting and all that. And again, they would provide a link. So I'd click on the link and it would be DeviantArt. So I finally decided, I'm assuming the day I discovered either the, I'm assuming it was the, I'm assuming it was when I found more Sonic art or something like that. I can't really remember. It was, it was something. And I remember looking at it. And I decided, okay, I'm, I'll register. Because there were certain other pictures I wanted to see, but I couldn't see because I wasn't a, a, a full member. And there are certain uh, things that you could do with pictures. You could either have them seen by members only, by the public, whatever. So I decided, okay, I'm going to be a member. So I signed up. I wasn't sure. I, again, I can't remember. I wasn't sure. If, sure. Or at the time when I was signing up, maybe I'd have to pay for a membership or not. But luckily, I did not. And September 19th, 2005, I became a member of DeviantArt. And this opened up a whole new world for me. Because just like Fervenient, which came afterwards, it allowed me to post and upload pictures that I have. Not just pictures that I have taken with cameras. Not just stories that I typed up on the computer. No. This allowed me to upload pictures that I even colored. Because yes, I would use uh, color crayons to color things in. I was, that, was, <laughs> that was basically one of my main things I would do when I was bored. I would take out a print out a picture, just color it in for the heck of it. Because I really wasn't that good at artwork or anything else. You know, I really wasn't good at artwork or anything else. So. <laughs> And I do apologize for the bird. Uh, so I just basically started uploading a lot of these pictures. And I would also take pictures that people would, would have, that people had done. Like Kiss the Thunder. And uh, Becky Hitchhawk. And even Jay Foxfire, I believe. But mostly the two I talked about, as well as several others. And I would color those pictures in. Because sometimes they would just be traces. They wouldn't be no color. 
they'd just be lines, and I would print them out and add color to them. And sometimes I'd use a paint tool, sometimes I'd use a paint tool on, on my computer to do that. I would. I would use a paint tool to do that. And again, it also allowed me to open the door to uploading stories, uploading stories. Uh, it allowed me to even, I even, you know, I even discovered, I even discovered um, that I could do submissions of some of my videos. Now, not my videos as a whole, but I could take the link, I could copy the link off the browser off, off the subject browser and paste it along with the description of what it was about and believe it or not through doing that it would not only be discovered by those on DeviantArt who would start following me but it would also lead them to go see my videos and thus it would lead to more views it would in fact anytime I check the um, italics as they call it the italics the information, the data of, you know, my, my videos, how many people have seen them, you know, how many viewers I had, how many uh, subscribers I had. One of the things they used to do is they used to show you exactly where some of the viewership was coming from. Like they would identify the areas. And one of the areas at times was a large portion of it was coming from DeviantArt. And I was thrilled by that. I really was. I was thrilled by that because it was like, this is amazing. This is truly amazing. I'm actually seeing this happen. It really was a, a, great, a, a, a great thing. To see that I had another outlet besides the Sega Forms, Sonic Stadium, uh, uh, Saturday Morning Sonic, Saturday AM Sonic, and even at the time, I think, Bumble King form or something like that, it gave me another outlet. And it was tremendous. It basically gave me the biggest outlet I could think of. So anyway, anyway, DeviantArt opened that door for me. It opened up the door for me to meet new people, find out that there are others out there that, say, that share the same interest that I do. That share the same interest as being intrigued and becoming a fan of, 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 of the melting gag, or the lustful melt gag, or the, or the goo girl kind of thing, or, the, or, or Sonic, or Rescue Rangers, or Bonkers. Heck, I was surprised that DeviantArt has not one, not two, but several, if not many, pro-Sally groups, Sally Acorn groups, of fans that like her, fans that are behind the character, that defend her. But through DeviantArt, I also discovered that there were those that were probably just an equal amount, if not maybe a little less, of those that don't like her. There were groups that wanted her and Sonic together. There were groups that didn't want her and Sonic together. Heck, there were groups that were dedicated to putting her and, her and Tails together. And her and Nicole, and her and Bunny. There were... There were groups for Sonic and Amy, Sonic and Mina, uh, Mina, Sonic and Loop, Sonic and Tikal, Tikal, if you will. And several others. Several others. It was just that massive. Just that mass, and I've been part of a lot of these groups almost since the beginning. Heck, it's through DeviantArt that I have discovered friends like Great Bithynia, Tile Grey Wolf, Prender, all the people that have a similar like the, of, for the unusual, have a similar fondness for it, a similar excitement and intrigue for the unusual, for the weird, for the freaky, for the lustful melt gags, if you will. And it's something that I'm always going to be appreciative of. 
And again, like I said, it opened up the door to allow me to put videos like this, provide the link to videos like this, like I'm probably going to do with this one, to them so they could check it out for themselves. So more people could come to the channel and see what else I have. Heck, there were a lot, there's been a lot of people that at DeviantArt would see that my name there is BVW1979. And they would find out that when I would link a video I did and make it part of a submission, that they would notice that and they'd be like, hey, BVW1979 is BW Roses. That's amazing. And speaking of the, uh, the name I came up with, originally, originally I was going to try to be I was trying to use my original, one of my original YouTube names. That did not happen, unfortunately. That did not happen. So instead, well not my, one of my YouTube names, it was one of my U YouTube names a year later. But I was planning on using one of my, uh, one of my original names, one of my more common names. I would use at several message boards, like Sonic message boards, Rescue Rangers, Bonkers, you name it. And what happened is when I was tapping it in, I accidentally hit the V, then the W, then 1979, and didn't notice what I had done until it was submitted, and thus BVW1979 was born on DeviantArt. And it's through DeviantArt as well that I discovered there were other websites similar to it, like Furfinient and So Furry, as well as Inkabunny and Echo's Portal. And I found this out because of the fact that at the time, not so much now, but at the time, DeviantArt was a little restrict, restricted, was a little bit restricted, uh, or restrictive, on certain material that could be uploaded. Now, like I said, there was some material I wanted to see that I couldn't see unless I was a member. And throughout the past decade that I've been a member, things have changed. Things have gotten a little better, a little bit more leeway. But of course, there have been some changes that some people don't like. And I, I do agree with them. There are some changes you can agree with and you can't agree with. But to me, you know, DeviantArt has always been that one place that no matter what other sites, what other message boards may kick me out for no apparent reasons, or kick me out for legit reasons, or whatever. DeviantArt is that one place that I could go to, and like a YouTube, find out that there are others out there who share the same interests have, that I do, are fans of the same things that I am. They are intrigued by the same stuff that I am. And I appreciate that. And I'm appreciative to DeviantArt for that. For over the past decade. Because again, it has allowed me to make friends and have respectable allies, if you will, with those that share those interests. You know, I can remember when I first got on there, one of the primary members I knew of, and I th think she was one of the reasons I got on there, was Jay Foxfire. And her artwork became, has become very popular on there. It has. To the point that when she was doing commissions or something like that at one point, a request, I was one of her first requests that she did. Some of her first ones, well, one of my first commissions requests to somebody was through her. And she had done one with Sal, uh, a two panel one with Sally in a bubble bath where Sally's just relaxing in one panel and then she submerges with just her hair sticking out in the other. And then there's another picture of her with Sonic in a movie poster parody of Pretty Woman. So that was pretty cool, and I really appreciate it. And then I met people like Butterfly Penguin, who did several pictures of me for me. One was a comic strip where Sally, after getting the kiss from Sonic, melted into a puddle, a complete puddle. And then another one was with uh, Rouge going into puddle mode, melt into melting puddle mode. So, as well as me, you know, in an aphomorphic uh, version, bat version of myself on a date with Rouge. So, a lot of positive things. I even, you know, just so many memories. 
just so many memories, and I'm really, really appreciative of it to a lot of people. Uh, to a lot of people at DeviantArt and those that helped me get to DeviantArt. So, to those that really helped me through DeviantArt, helped me show, show me the ropes and everything, and taught me that sometimes you do have to, if you want to commission something, you have to pay a certain price, either it's expensive or it's not. And sometimes you do have to uh, do it yourself. But I do want to thank people like Jay Foxfire, Butterfly Penguin, Kiss the Thunder, Great Bithynia, Prender, Tile Grey Wolf, and so many others. I want to thank you guys for being there, being my friends, watching my DeviantArt page. I really, really appreciate it. it and it has just been a great 10 years, a great long decade run. And here's to many more. So I thank you guys. God bless you all. And here's to 10 more years on DeviantArt. Peace out.